Hey everybody, welcome back to Hogwarts Legacy playthrough. Um, uh, I guess let's just get right into it. Hopefully it's less laggy today. Okay. Steven is also playing the game in the background, so you will hear him in the background of my videos. Um, then Miso is also, uh, going on a stick and his toy, so you might hear that a little bit too. Back again. Is she shooing me? That's rude. I'm gonna hang out with you anyway. You heard? Okay. I've always said that travel broadens the mind. Okay. Um. Ah. Uh, or should I go do one of the side quests before I go to Hogsby? I'm debating. I don't know what I want to do yet. Oh, look at that. This place looks so freaking awesome. Oh, shit. Have to run around with our like wand out. Can't put it in like my pocket or something. If someone gets struck by a cursed broom, we do hope it's you. Oh shit. This level two uh it fills our stone hearts with joy to be in the presence of such arrogance. And... Oh. Got I don't forget what that awful puff girl said in fourteen twenty one. Was this isn't the one in the our common room? The tail. Oh, it's so cute. Did you meow? Why are you meow like that? I don't like you. You're being weird. Please. Oh. What about the room, Professor? I was thinking the same thing, Deke. Perhaps you Deke. could help. Oh, uh, excuse, Deke. Ah, there you are. I trust your first classes went well? They did, Professor. I heard as much from Professors Hecate and Ronan. Seems Professor Fig taught you quite a bit before you arrived. I'd wager there's a good deal more to your travels here than what you've told me. Isn't there? Nothing more, Professor. I see. Like trying to get a sonnet from a streamer. Regardless, you must continue to build upon what you've learned. In that regard, I've asked your professors to help hasten your progress with some extra assignments. Professor Ronan did mention something about that. In fact, Professor Ronan will meet you outside momentarily to assign your first one. Now, Regarding the trip to Hogsmeade I mentioned earlier, we've arranged to replace the supplies lost on your way here, including seeds, potion recipes, and spell crafts. Thank you, Professor. And Mr. Ollivander will connect you with the perfect wand. Mm -hmm. You've managed your classes well with a borrowed wand, but you'll find the magic you cast with your own wand 
to be far superior. Um, oh. I'm eager to get to Hogsmeade. Very well. I'd like you to make your first visit to the village with a classmate. Help you get your bearings. Perhaps Sebastian Sallow or Natsai Onai. I've noticed you spending time with them. Natty. I'd like to go with Natty. Excellent choice. Miss Onai is one of our most talented students. And she awesome. knows she's like one of my favorites. She'll keep you well clear of any of Victor Rookwood's undesirables en route. Rookwood? A rather unsavory local. Best to avoid him and his associates, including his right hand of sorts, Theophilus Harlow, if you can. Once you've finished Professor Ronan's assignment, your friend will meet you at the castle doors. No time to waste. The sooner you complete your work, the sooner you can enjoy a butterbeer at the Three Broomsticks. A butterbeer? Always wanted to try one of those. Oh, the picture of a the Siamese kitty. That's our types of quests given to you by Hogwarts professors that when completed reward you with new spells. The reward for completing your first assignment will be the mending charm arrow. Required to complete the other quests. Okay. Get the Siamese kitty. Okay. Um let's go. You can't imagine how inconvenient travel was before I invented flu powder. <laughs> yes. Oh, level one. Okay, let's go. Ah, Hi. there you are. You have a new spell to teach me, Professor. Indeed I do, and an exceedingly useful one at that. The mending charm, Repero. Fixes things right up, makes a broken object good as new in the blink of an eye. Hmm, it seems as if that might come in handy. More frequently than one would imagine. As Professor Weasley mentioned, I am not the only one who will be teaching you spells outside of class in an effort to catch you up with your peers. A number of your professors have agreed to do so as well, but first, each shall ask that you complete a few preliminary tasks to hone your magic. I have arranged some for today. See them through and then report back to me. <laughs> we will have you casting Ropero in no time. Okay. I'll start on the task right away, Professor. Revelio. Oh, shit. Oh, yeah. This fountain in the Transfiguration Courier has uh, likeliness of. Yeah, I can't read. Cool. Professor, why must I complete these tasks? Oh, I didn't realize there I was going to ask him a question. I thought he had... Experience as you proceed okay. to master... I Good luck, know. and I shall see you soon. Okay, thanks. Um... Okay. This is the right area. I wonder where the flying page is. There it is. Where do I get it? Oh. Um. B. There you go. Okay, cool. Look the flying page. The defense of dark arts tower. Yeah, okay, let's go. I know you can fast Sandwich travel. Must be around but... here somewhere. Just like walking around, looking at everything. If only a new student would help me with my sad predicament. Are you all right? Don't you know who I am? Zenobia Noak, the girl whom everyone at school hates for no reason. Why does everybody hate you? Everyone hates you? Why? Because Hogwarts is full of bullies and spoil sports. Leander Pruitt's one of the worst, that no talent moon mind. I wanted to make some new friends, and so I brought my collection down to the common room. My gobstone collection, that is. I was hoping someone would want to play. I 
you familiar with gobstones? Little balls, like marbles. Grand game. And if you lose, they spray you with a foul-smelling liquid. Sure. Gobstones. Sounds like a fun challenge. That's what I tried to tell everyone. <sighs> People can be so cruel. Just because they're sprayed all over with smelly gobstone spit, it's their own fault for losing. Imelda is one of the worst. Imelda? Players. That's my Ever mom's name. Story are terrible as well. And now those poor losers have taken my gobstones and hidden them in very high places all over the school. <laughs> oh, rather an overreaction on their part. I'll say. Anyway, I can't work out how to get them back on my own. I don't think I know the necessary spells yet. I need someone, perhaps a selfless and talented fifth year to help me. She better not be missing. Do you have any suggestions on how to get your gobstones down from their hiding spots? If I knew that, I'd get them myself. Whoever hid my gobstones that high got up there somehow. What did she say they were? I honestly was not paying attention. Not really. Natty said hello once, but not a word since. I'll see what I can do. I'd appreciate the help. If you do find all of my gobstones, do come and see me again. I'll be back to playing Snake Pit and Jackstone by myself in no time. Oh, okay, the page. Yeah. Hell yeah. Easy, easy, easy. Better keep an eye on high places around the school for Zenobia's gobstones. I trust the preliminary tasks weren't too- I completed the assignments, Professor. Marvelous. You clearly know your way around basic charms. Let us give the old mending charm a try then, shall we? Remember to be deliberate in your enunciation and movements. I want to see some vigor. Now, wand at the ready. Yes, sir. Remember. Your wand is a Shit. conduit of your magic. Complicated. Okay, I can do this. I can do this. Okay, cool. I don't know. I would get intimidated every single time I see that. Hmm. That's it. Very good. If you would like to practice mending something, have a go with that broken statue in the alcove by the water. It allegedly symbolized heartbreak. Perhaps a jilted lover thought it too accurate and lashed out. <laughs> okay. Where did he say? Oh, this one. Yeah. Repair. Oh shit. Oh yeah. Cool. I'd better keep an eye on It's like you think that school for other people concerts. around here would just do that. Um okay. I'd better keep an eye on high places around the school for Zenobia's gobstones. Oh, I see, I see. Oh, okay, is that why it was on there? Okay. Yeah. Oh, that's one Heck of yeah. these gobstones. I hardly see what all the fuss is about. Okay. There's another peach. Hell yeah. Another one. Okay. Deal. I'm scared. Oh, okay, never mind, it won't let me in. I don't know the trip the I have family in Einberg. Father 
Who's? But I haven't had the time. Oh shit. But this cannot possibly be as difficult as it seems. Hello, Lenora. What are you looking at? Everyone thinks I'm utterly balmy. Samantha thinks I'm potty. But it's this painting. I never noticed it before. If I know Hogwarts, and I do, an empty frame doesn't appear for no reason. Something more to this. Have you gained any insights about the painting since you've been studying it? I did discover that casting Lumos her coat looks more kind. yellow than my I'm coat. I'm not sure what to do next. I know I keep talking about the colors, and it probably doesn't matter that much. Bothers me. Are there other empty paintings like this around the school? Yes, a few. This entire place is somewhat of a riddle, to be honest. If I can work out the riddle of this one, I'll know what to do with all of them. As good a place as any to begin. If I have the time, I may look. Could be intriguing. <sighs> I've been racking my brains long enough. I hope you'll have better luck than I have. Okay. Do oh. come and find me if you stumble on something uh... that solves the mystery. Revelio. Oh. Yeah. Lumos. That spot must be a clue. I should look around in case it's nearby. Okay. I... I don't know what that is. Okay, you know what? Let me do this later. I don't even know every. I don't know. Do you suppose Black's too? Oh, is it having me do the location? This looks like the location from the oh. painting. What could be so special about it? There's that little butter thing. Revelio. I mean, I knew that, but. Lumos. Oh, okay. I have to. Let's get you back to your frame, little moth. It was over here. <laughs> I knew there was a connection. <laughs> I should tell Lenora that I solved the puzzle of that empty frame. Nice. Oh, and it just disappears. It didn't stay there. Here you go. Lenora, I solved the mystery of that painting. You did? How? I found the location depicted in the painting, and then I cast Lumos to guide a moth back to the frame. All very logical, I suppose. Pity I was so close to solving it. You yeah, if you just went riddles. to the place in the picture. Natty's good at that too. So is Meat, although he does tend to over-explain. Well, I'm glad someone figured it out. The moth! I should have seen that! <laughs> okay, let's go do the main quest. Sorry, I'm still new to the, my new mic and stuff. And still trying to figure it out. Hugs me. Did that like a while ago. For real now, let's go. Everything just looks so cool. I explore everything. You know? <laughs> you move? Hello, looking Natty. for me? Natty. Yes. Natty, I hope I haven't kept you waiting long. Not at all. 
Professor Weasley tells me that you need to go to Hogsbeat. You must be eager to have your own things again. And to see the village. I've been looking forward to it. Good. Shall we set off? I intend to give you a first-rate Hogsmeade experience. <laughs> I was glad Professor Weasley asked me to accompany oh. you. Really? Yes. I had planned to extend an invitation to you myself. I thought you might enjoy a better be in the village. <laughs> <laughs> the timing of Professor Weasley's owl was perfect. Oh, we gonna have some butter beer. Hell oh, yeah! I cannot tell you how nice it is to breathe fresh air after being cooped up in ancient ruins. Grave mistake to take it as an elective class. Oh, believe me. Cool. I believe you. Though I suppose you would not really call it elective when your mother was the one who elected that you take it. Oh, so cool. Hogsmeade is beautiful this time of year. Everyone will tell you to visit at Christmas. But that's one of the few times of year I would rather be indoors. <laughs> not much for the cold, are you? Oh, I do not mind the cold so much. But it has taken some getting used to. I did not grow up around snow. Um, game, can you stop? I'm trying to enjoy the view of this... ...eerie oh, right here. Over here. I often spot lace-winged flies in this area. Oh? What's so special about them? They are interesting to look at. But if you stew them, you can also use them in potion making. Hmm. Okay. Hey! <laughs> so cool. From the Forbidden Forest. Hippogriffs. I wonder if something oh, happened to them. I heard rumors that hippogriffs had been spotted nearby. <laughs> no, so cool. Likely already named them too. France Hoof and Sugarfoot. That's the Forbidden Forest on the left. It's off limits to students, as the name implies. Why is it off limits? The professors claim it is too dangerous. I think that calling it forbidden only makes it more alluring. Ah, there's Hogsmeade over the crest, past that ruin. Oh, over there. I would spend all of my time exploring if I could. I confess, I was surprised when Professor Weasley mentioned that you knew the area, since you're relatively new here. She said that? Mm. She knows more about me than I had Game. thought. Game, please stop. Say, while I certainly learn a great deal in class, much can be gleaned outside of the castle walls. Cool. Sorry, I'm just enjoying. I'm just... Enjoying. Just enjoying. It's looking at... How are you settling in? I remember the weeks that followed my arrival feeling quite strange. Everything was so... new and unfamiliar. I'm getting used to things. What about you? Do you finally feel settled? I still miss my homeland. But it is beautiful here too. And getting out of the castle and exploring helped me to adjust quite a bit. Hogwarts has become something of a home now, I would say. Hopefully it will for you too. 
<gasps> kitty. At the pet all the kitty. <laughs> oh. Whoa. Game is awesome. But for the minor glitching, you know, it's fine. It's only like the second day of release. Mr. Moon! He is the Hogwarts caretaker. Looks a bit worse for wear. Hello, Mr. Moon. Have you met our new fifth year? Pleasure. Um, you might want to turn back, Miss on I. Uh, turn and run. Is everything all right, sir? Oh, it looked right at me. Eyes big as saucers. What did Mr. Moon? Jimmy, guys, Dougley and Arian. Mm, terrifying. I shall be at the castle where it's safe. Good luck to both of you. Mm. Oh, Mr. Moon. A Debbie, guys. I think he had too much fun in the village. I will say that I have never seen him in such a state. Yes. There is much to see outside of the castle walls. Yes. I am happy to explore whenever you'd like. Rumors being what they are about goblins and such, it might be nice to have a friend with you. I'll keep that in mind, Natty. Thank you. Gonna be new besties. So excited. Uh, okay. I'd be more excited if it wasn't so fucking glitchy. And here we are. <gasps> Greetings. Hard to know where to start. Bye, kitty. The three broomsticks is the place for Butterbeer, <laughs> and you can get any sweet you can imagine at Honey Dukes. I could not choose a favorite shop here. It changes with every visit. I can tell you that you are certain to find everything you need in Hogsmeade. So cool. <laughs> Professor Weasley said that you need to get potion recipes, spellcrafts, some seeds, and... A new wand. Of course! You will enjoy Mr. Ollivander, and I am keen to see what you will do with a wand of your own. You should be able to collect everything you need and still have time to explore a little as well. Experience Hogsmeade at your own pace. We can meet up in the town circle when you are finished. You wanna hang out with me? Enjoy yourself. I will see you soon. Stops and other points of interest that uh, you can navigate using your field map guide. Yeah. Oh shit. Cool. Another kitty. I haven't pet I haven't um pet an orange kitty yet in the game. <laughs> You guys may be yelling at me to stop petting kitties and just play the game, but I can't do that. Oh shit. <laughs> okay. Oh, Ollivanders. I'll be right with... Ah, it's you. Um, just a moment, please. It's me? What does that even mean? Uh, mm. Hello, it's sir. Me. I'm looking for... for How are you? Wand. Yes, it's about time. Yes, I... About time. Well, you're our new fifth-year student, are you not? Oh, what am I saying? Of course you are. Gerbold Ollivander's the name. But of course, you'll have heard of the Ollivanders, I'm sure. Finest wand makers in the world. It's a pleasure to meet you, truly. Now, come with me. Let's find you the perfect wand, shall we? Mm, uh, no, 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 not you. Um, 
Ah, yes. Yes. Hmm. Powerful core. Ten and a half inches. Hmm. You might do. Here. Give this one a try. Well, go ahead. Swish. Hmm. How odd. Uh, once more, come on, really swish it. Oh shit. Oh dear. <laughs> well, this isn't a good match at all, is it? <laughs> uh, um, oh, I thought the fireworks were a good sign. <laughs> find you something, not to worry. Mm. No, not you. Uh, uh, hmm. Perhaps. Yes. A rare wood, thirteen and three quarter inches, dragon heart string. Let's give this one a try. Oh, 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 oh shit! Oh, <laughs> Looks like it's back to the shelf for you. Dang. This is proving to be trickier than I had anticipated. How perplexing. Um. Where are you? Perhaps you? Uh, ah, there you are. Another green box. Yes. I think you might be the one. Here, take it. Oh shit, okay. Curious indeed. How intriguing. Okay, I think I like this one. Out of all of them? No, I'm just gonna keep that all. Here's so the the core of a wand for producing powerful magic. For the wand, known for producing. Ooh. Great range. I'm thinking of Phoenix. Ah, Phoenix feather, exceptionally rare, and a call with a strong sense of initiative. Yeah, I kind of like that one. Cool. Let's what do, do this. Think? Alive. <laughs> Extraordinary. So cool. <laughs> another wand, another beginning of a bright and magical future. <laughs> I've always wanted to go to the Universal Studios now, where how did the Hogwarts feel? and Good. Harry Potter area Doesn't is at Universal. I sensed a sort of surge of some kind. A match. Your connection seemed particularly powerful. The right wand will learn from you just as you learn from it. I'm eager to try it out. Of course. And a Phoenix Feather Core is terribly selective. This will be an excellent match indeed. And the bond between you and your wand should only grow stronger. Do not be surprised at your new wand's <laughs> ability hair in to middle. perceive your intentions, particularly in a moment of need. That sounds wonderful, Mr. Ollivander. I'll let you get to it. Do come and see me again, if ever I can be of further assistance. Okay. Yeah, but I heard that in the Harry Potter world and um, Universal, and you can have your own, like, uh, experience of choosing of the wand, just like what I just did in there. I heard it's so expensive. Okay. Um... Locked. Okay. Oh, I just... Papa, I just have a 
Oh, okay. I guess it matters. Cool. Um... Bingo. Maybe not that way. Zonkos. Can I go in there though? <laughs> oh shit. Rebellion. Frog spawn soap. You have for like the Fred and George toy store. Ooh, here's another page over here. I see. Let's go, I guess. Another place is that I need to go. Oh, kitty! I didn't realize there was a cat there. I thought I was foraging for a second. Oh my god, you can see the cat's butthole a little bit. That's me, how weird. Okay, maybe if I read the signs, that'd be cool. J. Pippin's potions. Pardon me, sir. Oh, thank goodness. When I heard the bell, I thought you were Miss Lawang. Not that she deigns to come here. Though, I don't believe I've seen your face here before, either. It's my first time in Hogsmeade, actually. Is it really? Well, Parry Pippin at your service. <laughs> and this is J. Pippin's potions. Potions for all ailments. <laughs> You'll have read it on the sign, of course, but Grandfather always made me say it in full. How may I help you today? Professor Weasley sent me to collect some recipes. I'm new at Hogwarts. You're the student she sent the owl about. I set your things aside immediately. I suspected if you're anything like I was at your age, you'd want your potion supplies. Is it not the most fascinating art potion making? Rivals anything you can do with a wand, I've always said. Are potions really that versatile? They may not be as showy as spell work, but make no mistake, they are just as powerful. They can heal, destroy, protect. You'll discover all of this soon enough. As it's your first time in, I should mention that it's not just potion recipes I sell. I also offer ready-made drafts for all manner of uses, and I unveil new ones from time to time. Pop in when you can so you don't uh, miss out on anything. Hmm? But for now, 
Let's get you those recipes, shall we? What can I do for you today? Just get what I'm here for. Feel free to take a look at the rest of my inventory. Or Only have $136. How are you going to even offer me anything else? I'm going to look. I'm going to want everything. Rebellion. Pretty weird. I could do that here since I saw it at the toy store. Maybe I might go back to Ollivander's and... What's these? Tilted garb. One more. Okay, cool. Let's go. Um... Okay. So... Down. This. Oh. What? <laughs> Thieves, butchers. Where is the mystery? So many locks. So many places I can get into. Um. But. Those. Dukes. Where's the magic knee pad? I'm gonna go in here. I guess while I'm over here, I'm just gonna. Yeah. All of those things. Seven. I don't know what that. Oh, maybe it's outside. Okay. There's a page up there. Oh. Heck yeah. Okay, let's go... These other freaking places. Honey Dukes. Where are these freaking stores at? <laughs> they knew they knew to need, need a little trim. Get out of my way. Honey Dukes. It's a candy store. Oh cool. There's a lock. There's... Voila! It looks like... Not much. A lot of locks. Rebellion! Floating bonbons. Cool, cool, cool. Go up here. Cool. Let's get out of here. Um... Can I see on the map where the freaking the other stores are at? 
I'm over here. This is Honey Dukes. Need to look for Magic Neep and Oh, I was near there. The one place, but where's the other one? I don't remember what. It Okay. Another kitty. I won't stop at this one. There's a cage over here. That's cool. <laughs> Another one. I was like, I can't see where it went. So can't. <laughs> it brought, uh, Tomb Tomb Scrolls. Was this the first one down here? Yeah. Right uh, there's another page over here. I need two, three more? Yeah, three more. Oh, there's another page. Heck yeah. Blood rags with wizard wear. Pippins and potions this way. And you here is over the bridge. Wrong. Oh, I just keep going down a little bit. I keep saying meep. It's neep. Neep. Scared. Oh, there's another p page. On to. Oh, wrong button. Age. Oh, I completed it. Cool. Oh, magic meat. Chicons. Pardon me, sir. I'm here for the seeds Professor Weasley arranged for me to collect. Oh, the ditany for the new fifth year. <laughs> I take it that's you then. Merlin's beard. Starting Hogwarts is a fifth year. Who's Merlin? Must be positively reeling for me to all. Not at all. I'm choosing to see it all as one big adventure. Well, bravo. Not everyone has the temperament to take things as they come. Name's Timothy Teasdale, by the way. Teasdale. This is my shop, <laughs> the Magic Neep. I keep the cart out here because I like a good chat. Can't very well be in the thick of things if I'm hidden away inside now, can I? I suppose not. In addition to seeds, I have plenty of plants. Grow everything myself. My speciality is potion ingredients. Even Pippin purchases from me. But what say we get you a packet of Dittany seeds? Dittany. 
Let me guess. You're after something fresh. Do have a look around. Plenty of ingredients to pique your interest, I'd wager. No, thank you. Maybe later. Revelio. Thick of things. Um. The tombs and scrolls is all the way in the beginning. And here. Uh. I'm not going the right way. Yeah. Like freaking shit. Look around your place for some boy. Oh shit. Oh shit. Go here first. Oh, I did not. No, oh, I keep pressing four. Oh, I'm gonna keep pressing number four. God damn it. Oh, this looks creepy. Is that a goblin? Any pages of. That was cool. Pardon me, sir. I'm here for the spellcrafts Professor Weasley ordered. Matilda, student. I thought I might be seeing you soon. I am the proprietor here. Thomas Brown. I take it you've had a conjuring lesson then? I'm afraid I haven't yet, sir. Ah, but you will soon enough. It is magic at its purest. Creating something out of nothing. Of course, it is not without complexity. But that is where my spellcrafts come in. Stay the course, and you could soon impress even Professor Weasley. That's certainly something to aspire to, Mr. Brown. I look forward to that day. And I, too, see in it. Spellcrafts are incredibly useful for conjuring unique items like custom pieces of furniture or decoration. But I shall let Professor Weasley do the teaching. For now, let's get the spellcrafts you need. A potting table and a potion station, yes? I believe so, sir. Good. Nothing like being able to grow your own ingredients and brew what you want, when you want. Let's have a look. Let's look at what we have, shall we? If you're interested, feel free to take a look around at the rest of my inventory. That's everything. Better go and find Natty. Back here. I can. Oh shit. What are you? Why you gave me that eye for? Why you look mad? Rude. Rebellion. Maybe I don't have that spell yet. Okay. Not looking through your things. I'm about to leave. About this one. Hey, Natty, where are you? <sighs> I 
way in here, right? Yeah, I did. I have everything. I see what you meant about not being able to pick a favorite shop. <laughs> <laughs> we should walk around a bit more. Perhaps today is the day I finally pick one. Oh shit. Oh my god, it's so glitchy. Oh, control. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. I meant to press Q. Bitch. Bitch. Are we weakening him at all? Keep at it. We have to wet them. Oh, my God. Oh shit, he got natty pretty well. Quick, get go. Oh my god. Oh, okay, so that doesn't work. I gotta control. I'm scared. See. What was that? I was trying to beat him at his own game. I like it. Do more. Oh god damn it. I'm not good at video games, so please. I'm pressing the wrong button. Yeah, I rolled towards him. Hard. Oh. Dang, how did I know to do that? Goodness, a second troll. Did you two take on a fully grown troll by yourselves? I suppose so. It's all a bit of a blur, to be honest. Merlin's beard. Are you all right? We are, and we were glad to help. I'd say help is a bit of an understatement. Nerve like that. The makings of an aura, if you ask me. If you are unharmed, perhaps the two of you wouldn't mind helping me put a few things back to where they were. Of course, Officer. Singer. Officer Singer. And thank you, again. Oh, shit, she just fucking disappeared. Repair it. I will see what he wants. Lucky they 
they didn't do much. Pavelio. Oh. Repairer. One last thing for Officer Singer to worry about. Yeah, that was weird. We're just talking about you. Hello, sir. I don't believe we've met. Allow me to introduce myself. Uh, Augustus Hill, Clothier Extraordinaire. I should like to thank you for your remarkable bravery in fighting those trolls, and not to mention your help restoring Hogsmeade to its rightful state. I was happy to help. <laughs> Frankly, you deserve an Order of Merlin. <laughs> but I could offer you something much more useful. I own Gladrag's wizard wear, and among my inventory are some unique items that afford certain protections, as it were. Life-saving protections. And as I suspect this won't be your last dangerous encounter, I'd like to give you one such set of robes. In thanks for what you did today. Wow. Thank you, Mr. I won't say no to some That's very generous free clothes. It's the least I can do. <laughs> uh, now, uh, let's try this on for size, shall we? Plenty for your perusal today. Take your time. Oh shit, what else we got here? Oh. Current uh, defense and offense are displayed at the top right of the screen. Okay. Okay, so increase my offense. Okay, I guess it won't show me. Oh, beans. Thanks, my guy. What an extraordinary introduction to Hogsmeade. I would say that we, and you in particular, have earned at least one butter beer. Shall we head to the three broomsticks? Sounds like a good idea. Wonderful. Just down this way, then. I sell even more the than the worthy items. Should you be inclined, you're most welcome to peruse my shop at your... Another eye, I think. Sassy, though. Sneaker soap. Sneako scope. The bag of it. Oh shit. That outfit's cute. Can I open this eye thing? Maybe. Why are you giving me attitude? It's 
assuming it is not too busy, you might even meet Serona, the owner. She is a charming hostess and a powerful witch. Good one to know. Why are we sneakling? Oh shit. You said you could get to the child when they came to Hogsmeade. That all you needed was a distraction. I gave you a distraction. I just watched a student take down your distraction. Rukrun? Who is this child? What are you not telling me? All you and need I would to like know to know is too. That if you cannot get to the child, then you have no value to me. Let's go. Did they see us? I don't think so. What was that goblin doing with I don't think so. They definitely saw us. Ranrock is working with Rookwood. The goblin from the Daily Prophet. I knew I'd seen him somewhere. Who's Rookwood? Where did we see okay, him before? Let's get inside the three broomsticks. It's a treat to see you, Lord Gok. I shall let you know if I hear anything. Thank you, Serona. You be well. Now, what can I... Oh, there's a face I haven't seen before. It's my first time here. Welcome. Butterbeer's on me. Heard about the attack. I shall be looking in on the other shopkeepers and residents shortly. Glad to see you two escaped injury. Thanks to this one, single-handedly took down a troll. You that helped. Was. Well done. Thank you for this. My pleasure. I will say, <sighs> trolls in Hogsmeade. That's never happened before. Something's not right. The only brutes we usually have to deal with are... <coughs> No time, man. Was that Lodgok I saw leaving just now? <laughs> Your clientele's not what it used to be, Serona. Not to worry, Victor. Once the two of you leave, the caliber of my clientele will greatly improve. I wouldn't do that if I were you, Theophilus. Come now. No need for theatrics. I'm only here for this one anyway. My friend is enjoying a well-earned butterbeer. Only want a quick word. Perhaps you didn't hear me. <laughs> I said, my friend is busy. Oh, yeah. One would think you all had enough bloodshed for one day. Come, Theophilus. The three broomsticks isn't what it used to be. Let's take our galleons elsewhere. Can't drink butterbeer forever. Do I know you? Seems you've made an unfortunate enemy. Watch your back. Rookwood and Harlow are worse than any troll you might encounter. Trolls, Ranrock, and Rookwood. What are you not telling me? I promise to tell you everything. But it's perhaps best I do that later. I think that now might be a good time to head back to the castle. Revelia. In cool? Okay, fine. I am certainly glad Serona was there. And that she isn't intimidated by thugs like Rookwood and Harlow. I want to understand what's going on, and I hope you will tell me. But for the moment, we should return to the castle. Professor Weasley will certainly hear about the troll attack soon if she hasn't already. I don't want her to worry. Let's return to your common room. That's rude. Okay, let's go. Then.
Wait, is it nighttime? Or is it morning? <gasps> owl. So this is an owl. Uh, giving me me. So. So. Common room? So cool. I don't know how many times I've done that, but... Ooh, there's a ghosty over here. This. Is that your hair? Why it look like that? Who let you get that haircut? They're not true friends. Are you running in place? Or are you stuck? <laughs> okay, go off. Oh shit, I was wondering where all the moving stairs were. They're up here. Right? <laughs> it's so cool. Oh, there's a page. Revelio. To go. Accio. Oh. Can I get up? Why is he all glowy? Revelio. I'd better keep an eye on high places around the school for Zenobia's gobstones. Oh yeah. Is it you hinting me that it's here somewhere? Oh my god! Oh wait, hold on, let me get this page first. I saw this little picture! The, I don't know what it is, but it looks like a platypus. I know it's not a platypus, but it looks so cool. What is Lumos. Okay, I don't know. High places. There you go. There's one. Oh, that's one of Zenobia's gobstones. I hardly see what all the fuss is about. Oh, I'm in the Ravenclaw Tower. Um, I don't. I still don't understand that. Revelia. Lumos. Oh shit, there's another one. Buzz. Up here? Oh. 
Heck yeah. I think I'm gonna call that video. Yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed it.